Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Cora and today we're working on my son's room makeover. Now this room has got a lot going on in it. There is mix match decor, there's old vintage car theme stuff going on because that was originally the theme that I was going to go with. So there's some of that like still memorabilia hanging around. He went through a phase of loving emojis. So there's a lot of little poop emojis hanging on the wall. We've got some old vintage photographs of his, of my husband's dad from when he did sports. And then there's just an abundance of toys and stains on the carpet. So once we took out the carpet, we put down new flooring. I got the flooring from Florin Decor and it is the same flooring that I have been putting throughout the whole house. So my husband's been helping me by taking it up and prepping and then I go through and I lay down the wood. He does the cuts for me. I just mark them up and he goes and cuts them, brings them back. And then I lay it down. And then when we have long stretches of it, he helps me sometimes lay it down too, because let me just tell you, you need knee pads, this stuff hurts. And my son has played really hard. And since then he has destroyed this room, but we didn't really say much because we knew we were gonna be redoing it anyways. And also last night, literally the night before redoing his bedroom, poor little thing got sick and threw up all over his bed. It mostly got on his sheets and his blanket, but just to be safe, I put some baking soda down on his mattress and I'm soaking that up. And because we need to lift the mattress and take it out of his room, I kind of taped it up and did a little thing there so we can get it out of the room without it spilling all over the floor. But this is literally all of his toys and trash and just, random things that he plays with and then we've got his old dresser that i had turned into like a toolbox looking thing which we're going to redo and turn into like a tnt one for the theme and then we've got just the walls here that need to be wiped down oh it's a mess guys bucket is trash like literal trash put the so we'll just trash yeah you can just put the big trash thing bag in it are you having fun? No. What are you realizing about our children? They're disgusting. <laughs> I'm just gonna skim over all of this real quick because this is insane. Do we have, have we bought too many things for them? I told you. There's nothing left to buy. They have it all. So we spent a good majority of the day cleaning up the room, doing a good deep organization of all of the toys, separating things by like type. So if it was a block and it was a mega block, it went with mega blocks. If it was mini blocks, it went with mini blocks. If it was a train, it went with trains. Minecraft, Minecraft, Roblox, da, 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 you get the point. We cleaned out his closet and really minimized it a lot. We filled up, I think it was five bags of toys to donate. And then we had like three bags of trash and that all got picked up uh, really quickly too. So that's nice. And then we've got the um, walls that are all cleaned and wiped down and ready to go. We are going to hold off on doing anything decorative really until the walls are done painting because we figure that's going to be probably the most time consuming so that's going to come first and then at the end we'll decorate and do the last of the finishing touches and then i'm also waiting on a little bean bag thing that i purchased to fill up all of his stuffed animals with and that'll go in there to be extra seating but that is just staying in the closet until that arrives so today we are going to be painting our son's wall. We're doing a Minecraft theme in here and his favorite character is the green creeper guy. So that is what we're going to be doing on this particular wall. And then we've got some new bedding for him. I'm going to turn this dresser into a TNT dresser. Um, we've got these two block looking things here that have the same green and black creeper theme. We've got a custom made sign with his name and then we're going to be putting up some like decor around with like a cool cubing shelf unit that's gonna go in the corner and stuff like that. So I'm really excited to get it started. Here is the before. We're gonna be using a chalk and string line type system to make our lines and we'll measure those out to make them nice and square. We're gonna be filling in the, the squares to make them look like pixels. And so it'll be different colors of varying shades of green. So we've got like a lime green, a nice like light sagey green, which is kind of more pastel-y tone, and then I'm gonna add a little bit of dark to the lime green once those pixels are done filling in to make a darker shade, and then we're gonna do the black face in chalkboard paint, which I think would be really fun for a kid's room because they can just use chalk and write on that portion of the wall, and it's like the only time it's acceptable, acceptable for kids to write on the wall. 
you know? So that would be a fun way to make the walls interactive for him. Now it is time to get started on moving the furniture back out of the way and prepping the lines and start painting his little creeper guy, which I'll insert a photo of our inspiration pictures too, just so you guys know where that came from. This is what we're going to be using. You kind of put it like that and you snap it on the wall and it leaves a chalk line behind. And in here, inside, you fill it with chalk so that the string, when it's rolled up, it gets it on there. And so it always constantly is beating at chalk. Here's the extra chalk if you need it. And that's what we're going to be using to make our lines. I picked up some paint. Luckily, I went in and I was like, I need some lime green paint. Do you have any? She goes, uh, not pre-made unless you check our clearance section. Nine dollars for the Bear Pro. Ah, what? And then I got a little bit of this color, which was also in the clearance section, if you see that. Two dollars. Paint and primer in one. Super excited. So I'll add a little bit of black to one of those colors to make it a little bit of a different shade because we want three different green shades and then I've got a little bit of the chalkboard paint which we'll do for the black face somewhere in that area. This is my supply bucket where I keep all of my paint supplies that I'll need. So I'm going to go through there and gather up what I need and then we'll get started. So like I kind of explained before, you just pull your string line from one place down to the bottom, which we measured the center to get the center portion, and then we snap this string and it creates this light shaded line on the wall. It's kind of hard to see, but you can see that there's a bright blue line going, and that's what we're going to trace to get our pixel lines going. Now, it's not necessary to do this step, but I did it as an extra step because in case some of the chalk lines wiped off, I didn't want us to not have a guideline. So I am tracing all of these lines at the moment. I'm doing all the vertical ones, and then we're going to go through and we're going to snap the horizontal ones where my husband steps in and he actually helps with that because it made the process go a lot faster having somebody else help you. So this can be a one-man job if, say, you want to use a thumbtack to pin one side of a string to one side and then you pull to the other side and you snap it. But having a two people to do this job makes it a lot easier just saying I don't know if you guys can see that but the wall looks like one giant piece of graph paper so we've outlined all of the squares and now what I'm going to do is mix up our paints we've got our black paint which is going to be for the face and then I've got my variation of that which is like a sagey green and then our bright lime green. I'm gonna mix that up into some Tupperware to get four colors, plus we'll have the black. And this is what's gonna be going up there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the black outlined also and then get the rest of the colors ready to go. Basically what I'm doing here is just outlining the portion that's going to be painted with the black chalkboard paint and I messed up so I had to run and grab like wipes real quick to wipe off a portion because it was in the wrong pixel box and that's only important later because this is supposed to be green pixeling anyways. So I wiped that off and then I re-outlined that and then I'm going to go through and I'm just going to kind of dab a little paint bop into each pixel that's going to be get, getting painted basically that color. So that way, whether it's me or my husband doing a particular color, we know what color that square is supposed to be based on what color is in it. So I just went ahead and got started with a couple to get us going and then my husband stepped in to help as well. He took a vacation time to actually help me with this project. So whenever he wasn't working on something else, he kind of came in and helped work on this. And then we also had Carline in between. So this was a very interrupted project. It took a couple of days but luckily it did not cost a lot. We spent very little on paint, 
it was under $20 and it transformed this room. So definitely worth it as far as time and sweat and frustration goes. I would say that paint can go a long way in transforming any room and it definitely can go a long way for a kid's room too. So it was fun to see our work and my vision kind of come to life. So I hope you enjoy through the end where you kind of get to see it really all start coming together. There are a few places we need to touch up and square up our work. Okay, anyway. But it looks so good, you guys. So excited for him. brought in here his bedding and stuff. I'm gonna put all of that on there for tomorrow. Save all of that. And then we're ready to go. Oh my goodness, look at it. I'm so excited. Now, a majority of the bedding that we picked up for my son, we grabbed at Target. So that would be the sheets and the pillowcases, as well as the little crafting blanket that it says crafting on it. And it has like a couple of little like stones and mining things or whatever that as well as his little light up night light also came from target the rest of it came from amazon and i'll show you that now i am still waiting on the beanbag chair here which is going to be filled with his stuffed animals but the hamper has arrived as you saw the shelf has arrived which we installed and then we have this lettering that we picked out and now the less letters that you use the bigger the size that the decal would become but the more letters that you use like if we had used his full name jackson it would have been much smaller but because i wanted it to be big i went with his nickname Jax, and so i was able to get it like three or four feet wide for the default price and not have to pay anything extra and it was awesome here is the light up thing from target along all on the shelf with his other little play things that he already had so i just thought that was a cool little display shelf there and it kind of filled in with the pixels there and blended in that wall over to the other wall nicely and then i'm going to rearrange the room a little bit in here i believe and then we're going to put up the decal on the wall right there I'm just gonna take my time and do this extremely slow. The decal turned out amazing and it even came with like a little extra face which I'm going to put on the light switch cover you'll see later so I was really impressed by that however when it comes to this decal it is very delicate because it has these tiny little swivel pieces as you can see in the name and the eyes and the mouth and all that those can easily be ripped or snagged you pull the paper portion that's holding it the decal on away and then you check to make sure that the decal is pressed onto the wall and then afterwards you want to smooth and press everything out nice and firm to make sure that you don't have any bubbles moving on i always like to give credit where credit is due i found this on pinterest and i want to turn his old dresser which looked like a toolbox where i had hand painted little tools onto the knobs and put this like diamond plate backing into each one so i'm peeling all of that off and then i'm going to hand paint this dresser to look like a little tnt i don't know type of a thing from minecraft i'm less familiar with the stuff than they are they could probably school me for days in minecraft language and lingo i'm sure but anyways i'm going to go ahead and get this all stripped and ready to go and then we'll do some painting and 
Time for decorating, my favorite part. All right, I'm gonna go spray the middle portion white, touch up some of the red on top up there, and touch up the top and bottom drawer with the red, and then these two middle drawers are getting painted white. little trick up my sleeve was painting an enderman door which I also found like a little inspiration thing on Pinterest which I will have to try to find and post up but you could just search enderman doors and you'll find it I used some little books to kind of give me some straight lines and now I'm just using paint that I had laying around I'm using pink for the background of the eyes and then a little purple strip for the inside luckily my doors were already black so I found that this was a very easy change and I thought it would be cute my son would appreciate it so that's it that's all she wrote and then it's time to show my son now a little spoiler he did get to see it halfway through after we had finished the wall because I mean you can only keep a kid out of his room for so long before a total meltdown so we decided to show it to him a little bit early but we let him know that it wasn't quite done yet and so he got to see it multiple times and kind of be surprised by the little things here and there Hey Jackson, you gotta close your eyes, okay? You can't look. What? <laughs> hey guys, it's in my wall like a creeper. What do you think? This is cool. Yeah, sheet. Sheet, not the blanket. Yeah, we're gonna put your bed over here. Whoa! That's your nightlight. The bed's right here. That's your nightlight. It's a creeper head. Look. Oh my cool. cool. What is this? That's just his costume from Halloween that I'm going to kind of hang up so he can... <laughs> yeah, it might be wet, so don't touch the walls yet. What do you think? It's not done. I'm not. We're not done. We're still working on it. Do you like it? That's not... <laughs> he picks up a paint stick. Look, though, we cleaned all of your drawers. They're all cleaned out. Everything's organized for you. Look, there's your little, you guys. I can't wait for my room. How can you leave this thing on? Well, we gotta take it out of there and plug it in. Take it out and plug it in. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think so far, buddy? Good. We got We got more surprises tomorrow, okay? Tomorrow. Happy birthday. My delivery finally came. This is the last thing I was waiting for for Jackson's room. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab his stuffed animals and get this filled so that he has his room to enjoy. Isn't that so cute? And it's nice fabric so that we can be cleaned if anything spills on. What happens is we're gonna open this up and we're gonna stuff it with all of your stuffed animals and then it becomes a cool chair. For Thomas, it's good. Why don't you just open it so fast? Oh my 
Okay. So weird. Okay. You can sit and play your games on it and chill. Love you guys. <laughs>